Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Callie and I love everything that has to do with makeup from unboxing to hauling to reviewing, tutorials and everything in between. If you are into that kind of stuff, I would love to have you here with me. So go on and hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so you know when I upload because I love having you guys here and I love chatting with you guys down in the comments below. Today we have a nice little haul video from Shopless A. I have bought from them one time before, like maybe nine months to a year-ish ago. Like I have a few products from them that I did I have bought, but I never really did anything with them. So I was like, let me get a few more things and maybe do a full face video using them. And I got like some tooly type things and all that kind of stuff. I don't exactly remember. This was like 40 something dollars. So you can about imagine how much stuff is in here. So if you are into these types of videos, please continue on watching and let's get into it. So we are going to snip this bad boy open. And I was actually shocked that this came in a bag. I don't know if they always ship in a bag maybe, but that's just weird to me. But I mean, it's very nicely packaged in the bag. So here we go, just for an idea, they always get me with free shipping. I'm like, here, let's spend the extra money anyway because you'd have to spend it on shipping. So why not? Okay. We got this money. the wiggling. Come on. I think I did this in a box. I'm trying to make room for everything. I don't know where I'm going to set it all once I open it. You know what? Let's do this number right here. Okay, so now that I got everything out of the huge bubble wrap that I just felt like the camera was holding me back because I didn't want to be too loud. So we are now in to this and I feel so plain. I was, we're going we gonna to talk about it when we get there. I am weak, weak. Okay, so I have opened up the bag of makeup. So much freaking tape. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. So. Okay, so let's start. This was on the outside of the packaging. I'm not sure. I didn't order this so I'm not sure if they threw this in because it took like a good little while for it to come in but I'm not mad because I'll definitely use these for something or another and they're just rainbow pop wedges kind of like I'm guessing like a blending yeah you can do like foundation and BB cream and everything I actually might use these for like blending like using like my skincare stuff just to see what it's like up next, I actually grabbed a few blenders, and I seem to thought that I was buying big ones. I do not need to be allowed on the internet at night with nothing to freaking do. So we got a microfiber wonder blender. This is latex free, free velvety layer, high def sponge. This is the AOA Studio. So this is the pawpaw um, one. So 55 cents goes to a animal charity, which I am super down for. 
this one is also a pawpaw blender. This is the pink latex free super soft high def sponge and then we have a matchy mini which is so freaking cute and a AOA studio wonder blender mini I feel like the pictures on the internet was the actual size and I thought that this might have been the big one I don't remember either way it goes I am still very happy I really need something to put all this stuff in. So I'm just gonna set it back here. So I got all these blenders back here. This is a mess of a video, but we're going with it. So up next, I actually got quite a couple let's see if we have any myrrh I don't remember that's all I got I think the ones that all the ones I have really wanted went out of stock okay so I got a few pairs of lashes so this is the AOA studio premium lash in Tori and I've never tried the lashes from shop Miss A but my fave youtuber Shin shortcake beauty uses these all the time and they be looking so bomb, so I had to try them. So these are in the style Shelby. And these are some nice little natural ones in the style Jenna. Yeah. So three pairs of lashes, so that's super cute. And I really kind of went a little crazy on like kind of like accessories because I already have like eyeshadow palettes, some bronzers, blush, stuff like that. I already have all of that so I didn't really focus on that and the ones that I actually like they didn't have so you know how that goes. So up next I actually want to try this. This is the A Plus Super Strip Lash Adhesive. This is clear. It's waterproof, hypoallergenic, no irritation and it was $1.88. So I'm really wanting to compare this to my KISS one because you pay $3 for the KISS Lash Glue. This is $1.88 so if it's just as good, my hair is stuck, ouch. If it's just as good, then I'm definitely going to be picking up a couple more of these. Up next, I actually got this Marutake Rice Powder and it comes with an applicator because I've seen people use this for like setting and baking and stuff like that so I wanted to kind of give it a try and I mean a dollar what do you do when everything is a dollar like really what do you do you buy it all that's what you do so up next what do we have here it's wrapped oh we got some little looks like some type where's the scissor motions all right okay so these are some highlighters that I got so first up and I am going to swatch all this so this is an AOA studio wonder baked highlighter in what how does it open why Okay, why? So, I don't know if it's really gonna do it any justice. This is what it looks like. It's pretty powdery, but I think that's just how baked highlighters feel, but it's very gorgeous. So there is the shade, and it's kinda got like a slight blue tint to it. That is a pretty decent highlighter for a dollar. To me, I can't wait to actually try it on the face and see what it's like. So up next is another highlighter from AOA Studio, and this is the Perfect Pressed Highlighter. Does this have a freaking seal? Oh, thank you. Okay. I need to clean this room so bad and get it together next week, hopefully. So this is actually in the shade Eris. 
and it's another light shade because I am obviously a pale pale lady and this is actually really freaking pretty so let's swatch it next okay oh we need all of these so this is the perfect press highlighter I need to remember that because we are going to be going back okay so uh, next we have some AOA studio lip makeup remover pads and I just wanted to try these because some lip makeup is really hard to remove so maybe these are made to do better I also went on and grabbed me a little AOA studio blotting paper this is a mattifying blotting paper because I'm extra oily right now I'm looking like a whole grease monkey so I grabbed me one of these because now is the time okay up next I have some tools that I bought that I want to go in and get out the way okay making sure I have them all so up first we have a brow comb scissor and I really needed some new brow products we have a tweezer because I've now seem to have lost two just since I started filming again like three days ago I got me a little blackhead remover because I'm obsessed and a tiny brow scissor so these are great for a dollar you can't really pass that up so I did it let's keep just keep digging, just keep digging. <laughs> okay. So up next we got some brushes. We have three brushes. This brush is long. Okay, so this is the AOA Studio F19. And this looks kind of like a nice little highlighting brush. And to be honest, it is extra soft. Like, this feels very nice for being one dollar. One dollar. I'm sorry. Up next, we have this Kala eyeshadow brush. These are bougie. They come in a box. And a bag. And a bag. For a dollar. I got a brush pouch. I'm weak at myself for how excited I am. So this is an eyeshadow 106 brush from Kala. And I love things like this for doing my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. So that is why I grabbed this because I'm really picky with it. So I like to try different ones to see what really works the best for me. Put it back in this little bougie pouch for my dollar brush. Up next, we have another Cala brush. This is a medium shading brush. Get the bag out the bag and the brush out the bag. Ooh, this one is going to be nice. So they actually aren't too, too light. They're pretty sturdy. This is a nice little shading brush. I like this for like packing that color in right here and really just pressing it into that outer corner. It also is nice for blending in the crease so bougie bag in the back the last brush we have is an all-over shadow brush from she come out <laughs> come on this is being ridiculous we're getting somewhere we are somewhere so this is actually pretty like dense I would probably this might be the cheapest feeling one out of all of them so maybe not get this one again but the bristles still feel very nice it doesn't feel bad it doesn't feel like hella bad quality but it's a more stiff 
brush to be an all over shadow brush so I have a feeling that this will probably end up being a concealer brush for when I'll be doing the cut crease because I like kind of bigger ones because it's so like a little one swoop boop moment you know up next we can go on and talk about this because I'm super excited to try I'm sorry I'm super excited to try this this is the AOA Studio Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation. I got mine. This is the Paw Paw Charity. I got mine in porcelain, like me. So I actually have a few more foundations that I bought a while back from them, but I don't know if I bought my correct shade. Um, so this will probably be the one that I use in my haul because it's like in my try on because it's newer. But I'm really excited to try it because I've actually watched a few reviews and they seem pretty good. So, I mean, I'm looking for like a really good foundation for just to be like a filming foundation. Like not like a going anywhere thing. Like but if this works really good for a dollar. I make that noise entirely too much and I apologize. So up next we have a couple of lip products and I... I bought this just because it looks like a wine glass. I'm not even going to lie about it. And then we have two AOA Studio lip products. I'm going to bust these bad boys open. Open sesame. All the plastic keeps sticking to me. Oh, see, that's not going to dry, I already know, because it says soft matte lip cream. But I believe these do dry, because I have a couple of these already. But not in these shades, and I am living for them. Wait till you see. What? I quit. How do you even... Where does the seal bust open? Okay, wait. Okay. This is so freaking cute. I cannot wait to put this up close. So this is what it looks like. Like, I am shook at the house. This is so freaking cute. So it opens like this. So it comes out in the middle and it's this nice kind of corally pinky red more orangey shade and it's very thin so I could probably already tell that this won't be for me it'll probably be more for show but that's the shade to be honest feels, I don't know, it felt weird. I didn't know if I was like reacting to it or what. So up next, also that shade is in Posh. We have an AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick in Extra, which is this nice, beautiful mauve color. And oh my God, it is way more beautiful in person than the camera does it justice for. What? And then this color, I don't know, this color just spoke to me because I don't have nothing like it. Actually, I probably do. This is probably like a dupish for a Kat Von D shade. But still. I love it. Love it. So those are the sh three shades I got. And these two I love. This one not so much. But I love the packaging. So win win. I'm actually gonna go on and try to wipe that off real quick before I get it all over everything. Came off nice and quick and easy. Up next, what do we have? We have a sculpting brow pencil from AOA in taupe. I wanted to try some brow products from them as well. So this is what it looks like. I never used a pencil that was like this before. So 
that's kind of exciting oh I'm like this is very 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 dry I don't know if this is new or what this really isn't my shade I probably need darker but I'm I really want to dye my hair blonde so actually this probably will work out good for me at some point but it's very dry so I'm not really sure how I feel about it just yet up next oh we have a blush I bought a single blush I do have a little four pan blush palette it's not like the AOA brand, it's like the Amuse brand, but it's still from like the Shop Messe or whatever. So, oh, it's a little twist up. So here's the shade, and it's a lot lighter in person than I thought on the phone, computer, whatever. It's going to be a nice little neutral pink blush that's actually going to work out perfect for my skin tone for a nice little blush of color up next so we got the abracadabra she makeup mega volume mega volume mascara and I'm really digging this wand a lot I can't wait to see how this works out Then we have the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer from AOA Studio as well. Because, you know, I had to grab a primer because what does Nikki Tesorio say? Not to prime is a crime. Don't copyright me, Nikki. I love you, girl. So, I'm noticing this has glitter in it and I don't know how that makes me feel. I don't know, but I'm still going to try it out. Even if I try it out and stay at home. So up next, and I only have a couple of makeup, three more makeup items after this, and then it's like some random stuff. Random crap. So I bought a brow pomade. My freaking hair, y'all. It's driving me nuts. So I bought a brow pomade and taupe. And normally taupe is the shade that I get in everything, but apparently taupe seems to be a little bit on the light side in Shop Miss A. So this is pretty sticky. It feels like it could be more like a concealer than thing, but I mean there, there's payoff there. This is the color. I mean, they match perfectly. They're just a little light for me, but I mean, I can still, you know, attempt to make it work for a video to like test it out to see, you know? Also, it could always work on like clients and stuff like that, people with lighter tones than moi. Up next, and I believe these are the last three makeup items. I believe they are some little liquid liners so we have Comet and these are from the AOA studio as well so this is the shade Comet Okay. These actually have some pretty decent payoff. You might have to go a couple of times, but it is there. So this is Comet. It's a nice like, I need it to, there we go. I really got these for like when I do cut crease to add just like dimension to the crease. That's the reason I got these. So up next we have Spotlight. And 
and this one this is a starlet these the other two are stellar so this one is actually kind of different so it's a wider shade it has like some little it kind of shifts blue it's right here I know I put it a little close but it's right there it's very pretty though and then apparently I bought Comet twice so I'm gonna throw this into the giveaway <laughs> pile because why not there they are cute and they work decent put that right there to the side so now I have a few like random oh wow this is huge so I do have another makeup item I believe this is a little eyeshadow palette but I was not expecting it to be this big yes so this is an Amuse Cosmetics eyeshadow palette I thought I had bought one but I wasn't sure I thought it would be way smaller though take that little applicator out I'm digging the color story of this though so like I really can't wait to test it out let's give it oh um we are out here sleeping sleeping paying all this money when we can be paying a dollar so here are all of these shades swatched. They feel these shimmer shades feel just like a high-end palette. Now mind you, they aren't as pigmented as high-end, but that is a nice those are some nice swatches for a dollar. Like these shimmer shades are whew, whew, bomb for a dollar mind you not better than like obviously not better than the big name brands but when you, you have to look at what you're paying you know compare I mean compare this to some drugstore and it's like drugstore what this is the new drugstore this the new dollar store dollar tree dollar whatever so let's laugh at me for a moment because I was like, I really want a little handheld mirror because I think it would be super cute for when I'm doing my videos and they had someone shop and save for a dollar, y'all. It's like cute little mirrors with a comb. And I'm like, okay, I need to call my just want the mirror. Y'all ready? This is the mirror. This little bitty mirror. Little bitty. I can't even see my whole face in it. I'm so upset that I was that dumb. But that's okay because I'm going to give this to my godchild because she'll have fun with that. Up next, I grabbed the AOA Studio Makeup Cleanser makeup remover, cleansing wipes, and cucumber to give a try. What the hell is this? Oh, so I got something for lashes. It detangles and declumps lashes and brows and it folds in. Folding lash and brow comb. So that's pretty cool. And then the last three products I got are for your hair. I grabbed this little wet dry brush and it already seems like it's not going to be that great, but it might work. Oh, it doesn't pull. Okay. I also bought this little comb for like picking out knots because when I made this order my hair was a knotty mess 
and I don't really have anything like this and it also really is very intriguing <laughs> because it's got hooks and then I also just grabs me a little round brush because I like these and why not for a dollar so that was everything in this little shop miss a haul <laughs> I'm not gonna recap it all because that's too much to walk through but I'm really happy with everything like I'm super excited to get to filming a video trying out all my shop miss a products for you guys I know that that would be a fun video I love watching videos like that because sometimes we on a budget and we can't afford the high-end stuff we can only afford the cheap stuff so it is what it is we have to live by our means so you know I can't wait to try it out and see what is actually good to where maybe I can add a cheaper product into my everyday makeup wear but if you enjoyed this video go on and give it a big thumbs up I love doing haul videos I would do this every day if I had the money obviously but I love doing videos like this so I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already by now what are you waiting for go on and do so because I would love to have you here and I will see you guys in the next one bye